wonderful Sunday afternoon, huh, Misha? happening We are about to drill our first hole for electrical boxes. Good times. Dangerous times don't fly too high. Be sure to keep the crowd inside. It's all about using the right tool for the job. I love it. That tool is freaking awesome. It cuts through this gas silicate block like it's a like butter. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Super good find at Alex A's hardware store. Mm. That's what it's gonna look like. So, brush against the wall. Then we're gonna bore out another hole for the cable. And then we'll just put the so oh, no, I'm not the first one to discover how awesome that tool is, uh, but I freaking love it. Man, we just banged through this whole house, uh, whole upstairs, all the outlets that we got to put into the gas silicate block. They're done. Uh, the next step is to do the outlets that are going to be on the, uh, the frame walls, and that's going to go quick and easy. So, man, we just knocked out what I thought was going to be difficult very quickly there's another tool we're going to rent it's basically a saw that's going to cut through this stuff like you know a hot knife through butter also um we're going to run the wire in a metal sheathing um on the ground because there's going to be more concrete poured uh, to, to level this floor out and the floor right now is pretty nasty looking but uh once it's all they're going to pour six millimeters of uh, more concrete over. There's going to be uh, warm floors in this bathroom with uh, the tubes full of hot water from the water heater. And in this bathroom as well, there's going to be warm floors. But the rest, we're going to have a, uh, a heat register uh, over there, another one over here. Um, and underneath each window, there's going to be a, a heater, heat register. Um, that is just how it's done here and that's how we're gonna do it and yeah like the future is so bright we need to wear shades right now this is just awesome that we're making progress we're doing the stuff that we got to do uh we've only just started doing the electrical but um yeah there will definitely be more to come so today's a big day today we're getting a shipment of sheetrock <laughs> yes my favorite thing ever Ah, uh, God, I can uh, only imagine how much fun this is going to be, but we have to do it. Got to get it done. Um, got guys working on putting the concrete floors in on the two new additions. Uh, they've already started removing the framing on the uh, concrete that they put over the top of it. So that's a good thing. Uh, and soon they're going to be making the stairs. Oh, there's a lot of stuff happening right now, but... Uh, Main thing is we're getting our sheetrock and we're gonna be able to start putting it on the walls, getting our outlets and everything put in and all that. That's gonna be a plus. So lots of cable to run, lots of sheetrock to hang. 
Uh, we're gonna put the ceiling on last. That's gonna be the last thing we do. Um, waiting on a friend of ours to give us the lift for the sheetrock. Once we get that, we can rock and roll. Life is gonna be good. Our sheetrock has arrived. For a couple extra rubles, they deliver. Yes. So, I paid for two guys to help. I should have paid for four. Because, uh, well, we got it all in. All the sheetrock that we're going to need. Some more. This is for the bathroom, and then this is all ceiling stuff over here. This is just one extra little, or little big ass piece of uh, blue rock. I don't know what blue rock. I'm told that blue rock and green rock are the same, but yeah, we got it all up here. And let me tell you, life is good because from here we can actually start making some real progress, and that's what we're looking for. So stay tuned. Our first piece of sheetrock is going up right now. We got our first wall up. It's all downhill from here. Life is great. Second wall is done. It's bright and early in the morning and we are hanging rock. Gonna close all that up today. Right here is where I hope and pray that this guy makes this floor nice and level. Let's just hope. Right now I'm in the back corner in Misha's room. There's gonna be a closet there that we have to build still. But as you can see, walls are slowly getting done. We have that big one to do, but we gotta build a big scaffolding system right there for safety purposes, because I don't know how the heck we else we would do any of that stuff, but uh, yeah. Life is great right now. Well, uh, a little update. Here is the front. That's going to be a set of stairs right there and another set of stairs right there. There'll be columns that go up right here and there and there and the roof. God bless it. Soon, soon, these guys are going to make it. They're calculating and figuring what they need to do, but uh, yeah, <clears throat> this is all going to be pretty awesome. It'd be nice to have stairs. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you just don't get enough. But it'll all buff out. Wonderful 
Sunday afternoon, huh, Misha? Yeah. Are you playing on a new little pile of sand here? Got a tractor. So guys, here's an update. Our new set of stairs. I think it turned out very nice. It's a monolithic pour. So you can see up underneath there. We gotta do a lot of work to it yet, but uh, it turned out really nice. Really nice. And, yep, we're gonna be putting the stairs, or the uh, roof on soon. Man, there's been thousands of delays and just things happening. Ugh, but we're making progress, we're still doing stuff. Still doing stuff. Yeah, these are nice, man. It's really nice to be able to walk up this into this new addition here in this entryway here. Mud room is going to be amazing. This thing is huge. It's absolutely huge. I guess I've already said that we're going to put that window right there and where that window is at. Uh, right now, we're going to block it off completely. We've got a little window to put there also. But yeah, this is going to be warm floors here and throughout the rest of the whole first floor but yeah man wish i could say we're we could move the needle forward faster but we're definitely just we're doing everything we can everything we can we can only do so much and uh yeah Ugh. it's all about just like people um like workers and <clears throat> Contractors, man, contractors. Trying to get contractors to get on the ball and do it. Right now it's peak building season here in Belarus. Uh, everybody is building because, well, soon we're going to be froze out and that's not building, the building outside is not happening. So we kind of have ceased all activities inside the house at this moment. Um, I kind of had high hopes and expectations to be able to uh, knock out a bunch of stuff inside also at the same time, but uh, really, honestly, we're just struggling trying to get the outside done. So really the focus needs to stay on the outside and get it done. We got this out here. Man, we got a bunch of junk laying around still too. Gotta get another dumpster. But uh, we poured the like retaining wall for our, our terrace here, our back back porch. And this is all going to get filled in with sand, and then uh, we're going to have about uh, six to eight inches of uh, concrete poured over the top of this. And this is all going to be uh, <clears throat> uh, covered with tile. This door, man, they're still making this door and that window for our dining room. And then that window there is going there. Uh, yeah. Just a little quick updates as to what our life has been like. We've been fighting rain too, like crazy. I never knew that it rained so dang much here, but I guess that's uh, <clears throat> pretty common. Off and on years, it gets, they, they get tons of rain here and some, some years no rain. Last year when we, were, when we first got here in the summertime, it didn't rain at all. Um, but yeah, there was no mushrooms in the forest either. Now. There's mushrooms everywhere, so that's a big, big thing here, is uh, people eating mushrooms. So, <clears throat> big part of the cuisine here in Belarus, and it's uh, they're pretty tasty. As a matter of fact, I just made breakfast burritos this morning with some mushrooms in it, and that was uh, quite nice. I liked it, but uh, yeah, so... Very soon this week, I'm told we're gonna have a uh, the gas company come in, and run the gas line from the street into uh, that room right back there, that little thing, and then we can uh, start hooking up water heaters and different things like that. Um, yeah, so really, <sighs> I wish I could say there's more progress, but we really have a. Uh, uh, a big mountain to climb here and it doesn't get done. You don't climb a mountain in a day for sure. So we 
we've really been working on this house for less than a year and people say that it takes usually a couple years to build a house uh, this is my first time so that's that so I need you guys to take a look at this and see what I'm dealing with here we bought let's see two by 15 two by eights we had 12 meters of them and it was 56 rubles we bought two by two and we got 96 meters of it and that was 135 rubles we got two by sixes and that was 336 rubles total 527 rubles plus 65 rubles for delivery all right all in 600 rubles and that's some really straight lumber my god these are six meters long each one of these boards we got what is that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 16 of those two by sixes that are 15 feet long and then we got another bunch of these things this two by twos we're going to use for uh, <clears throat> uh, our insulation framing later but yeah that's going to be the ceiling here we haven't uh, we got it all planned out that's all probably going to go up there probably going to have a little bit of extra I would think but Wow, 600 rubles, and in U.S. dollars, that's 200 bucks. 200 bucks here with zero crazy markups, and in the States, I think that would easily be, I don't know, probably somewhere in the ballpark of seven, eight, hundred dollars, maybe more. I don't know. Write down in the comments what you think. But uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. I wanna put a quick plug into this group called World People of Belarus. It's on Telegram and they are awesome. If you need anything, if you want anything, um, you're trying to find something, for example, um, there's so many people on there that are willing to help you. Um, there's a huge sense of community here for foreigners, especially. Um, yeah, I needed a lift for sheetrock because we're about to do the ceiling, and doing that without a lift is just dumb. And um, I could, I could absolutely buy one. I could absolutely do that, but it's, it's like, you know, I got money bleeding out of me <laughs> everywhere you look. So um, I want to put a thank you very much, Dennis. Um, you're the man. I appreciate you publicly. You have really saved me some, some, some a substantial amount of money. So uh, thanks again. If you're interested in checking it out, go for it. Uh, World People of Belarus. It's on Telegram. I'll put a link in the description if I can. Um, that's all. The sun is setting on another video. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys all have a great week. We'll see you next time. Like and subscribe.